Not gonna lie, I'm sort of a redstone master. Not because I did this, which is very extremely simple-minded redstone. All you gotta do is hook up some repeaters to some redstone, which will then open these vaults that are assigned to different people. But here is why I am a redstone master. I made this. And I have mastered the key flip flop, which is where you press a button and it turns into a lever. The redstone lamp does not turn off. Look, I'm a queen, come look. This is a key flip flop, which means if you press the button, it kind of acts as a lever. If you press it again, it turns off. If you press it again, it turns on. Again, and again. Which I think is pretty cool, because buttons look so much nicer than letters. So, now I'm going to be showing you how I made this monster piece. It took a really, really long time to build. It's a monster of a build. And, okay. So the first part is you gotta make a sort of a grid right here of levers. And you gotta match up the numbers. Then you're gonna make the first number that you're going to want to press has the most repeaters coming out of the bottom. And, and now the second number, you got to have the bottom coming out of it. The second number has sort of um, four, four repeaters set on a very, very high tip. Then, like all that, the third one has the least amount of um, repeaters, and they all have to go up to these levers. The, they all have to have a, a redstone, a redstone torch at the end of the redstone trail, which acts, which activates which um, c turns off this redstone torch, which does not activate this key flip-flop. So let me explain what the key flip-flop does and how to make it. First, you gotta make, you first you gotta have uh, two droppers, two dispensers, and a junk item. And you gotta have a redstone comparator. So you put this on, you make the first dispenser go up, the second dispenser this way, the first hopper um, into here, the first hopper here, I mean here, let's see if we can do this, the first hopper right there, and then Actually, this should be a dropper. This should be a dropper. All of these should be droppers, actually. So, if you want to take some time to turn those dispensers into droppers, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Just in case you accidentally put TNT in there, and you won't want, like, that one of these to be. So, after that, You gotta put this into there, and make sure you gotta put um, the dro the dropper facing this um, this um, hopper, which is going down into this hopper, which is, has its little little thing going into this dropper. And here, you're gonna want to put anything you want in there. So that when it activates, watch, it's going to power all that, which is going to turn on these super cool light effects and open the vault door. But, that's not going to happen right now. 
because you need to be listening. So then you're gonna want to take the then you put the comparator right next to this hopper, which is going into that uh, hopper. Make a redstone signal and put a repeater right after that, and then connect it to the lights. Connect it to these lights. There's lights. It goes into this block, which turns on the lights on that side, and it goes over and through that tunnel onto the lights on that side. Just keep on repeating that until you get to the pistons, which is also, you're going to want to hook it up to this and make sure it looks like that. I'm just going to give myself night vision for a sec, um, because it's getting kind of dark. Alright, so once that, if, if the redstone is powering this, then this torch turns off and retracts the pistons. Then there's going to be another, um, a, another, uh, redstone source going across, and let me show you when I get out, over to here. Somewhere here, I believe it's right there. So then that piston goes over to here. That the I mean the the redstone trail goes over to here and powers both of the pistons. If you put a block uh, right next to the top one. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you understand what I just said because it. You probably get it. See you next time on Goblin Zero. Goodbye.